My Hero Academia episode 42 came out recently, and as intense and somewhat tear-jerking as it was for me, I knew many people would take certain elements out of the episode out of context. There are two in particular that act as a substrate for the confusion. The first being when Deku says, no way, I was at 100%. It was the same as All Might's power. And of course, the extremely controversial one for all, one million percent, Delaware Detroit Smash. <laughs> Many people then tried to scale Deku to being above All Might using this, or scale the series and so on when the scene is trying to represent something else entirely. So let's do this. One for all, one million percent explained. Taking this one at a time, we should first go over Deku's statement comparing his 100% to All Might. Now, most people will realize this shouldn't be taken seriously for a few reasons, but to quickly skim and slap it out of the way, we can easily compare Deku and All Might versus Nomu in their performances. In the fight versus Nomu, Deku comes swinging with a 100% smash and notices Nomu tanked his punch without flinching. Likewise, All Might challenges Nomu later on and hits him with the Carolina smash that almost knocks Nomu off of his feet, with Nomu here being more on guard than versus Deku, whereas versus Deku he had to jump in the way and protect his master. Later on in chapter 172, we also see that when All Might begins to train Midoriya to use one for all, better as to not always go 100%, Midoriya states, if All Might moved at 100% without breaking a sweat, he would always cause a windstorm in the surrounding area. This is to explain that even versus Nomu initially, the sheer movements of All Might at 100% would cause massive storms like in the battle with Slime near the start of the series. It's also extremely evident that 100% All for One can have varying levels of power depending on the user. For example, All Might says in his prime, defeating Nomu would have only required around 5 punches to now requiring over 300. Feet wise, this is also supported with All Might being able to casually throw a left jab and taking out a city block even while weighted and suppressed, whereas Midoriya throwing a full power attack at 100% never does remotely as much, even with no control or control, and later in the series as well, but no spoilers. There's also a certain fight that happens between All Might and a certain someone later on that really shows an even larger difference in power than we already know of for the anime. Now for the real reason we're all here. Deku, one for all, one million percent. What happens here is that Midoriya is pushed into a corner and is forced to use one for all all to its utmost limit. Even then, this isn't enough, and after having flashbacks in the manga, something in the anime that really shouldn't have been left out, All Might versus Nomu, and how All Might can go beyond the 100% power of One for All. This then spawns the idea that Midoriya can go beyond 100%, and with a life or death adrenaline rush, screams out 1 million percent. But was it really that much? Well, according to Horikoshi, who was apparently barraged by similar questions, the author of My Hero Academia, he states this, I've received reactions from both countless fan letters and by my friends in manga alike that they didn't get the 1 million percent thing at all. I'm honestly really sorry it ended up being so opaque. Of course, he wasn't actually putting out 1 million percent. It was merely Izuku's emotional battle cry to psych himself up. Think of it as the abnormal amount of strength people can summon in a crisis, end quote. And with that, we can sum up how powerful Deku really was using some real life examples of abnormal strength of people in a crisis. The best example I can think of here is how women or men who have had children trapped under vehicles are able to deadlift vehicles or ex lift extremely heavy objects to save people. In this instance, a man named Tom Boyle Jr. deadlifted a 3,000 pound Camaro off of a truck wrapped boy. There's also a similar situation where a girl deadlifts a flaming truck off of her dying father as well, but this one example with Tom is fine. Boyle accomplished a practically impossible feat lifting that Camaro. The world record barbell deadlift is just over 1,000 pounds, with the average stock Camaro weighing something more along the lines of 3,000 pounds. Penn State kinesiologist Vladimir Zatsorsky has researched how stress affects the performance of weightlifters. He has found that most of us, if we try
try to lift a heavy object under ordinary circumstances can only use about 65% of our muscles maximum theoretical strength. Trained weightlifters can do a bit better achieving about 80%. In essence, we possess an automatic control system that limits the amount of strain we can put on our body's machinery so that we don't injure unnecessarily. Normally, however, this would only allow, say, someone who can lift 100 pounds to be able to, say, lift 135 pounds. But the biggest effect here is the mental strength and numbness given when you go under this nigh shock routine. You don't feel any pain. You just keep lifting and lifting and your body doesn't move or stress whatsoever. In fact, by the end of it all, Boyle realized that after his body's natural numbness and superpower quote unquote wore off, he had clenched his jaw so hard lifting that he shattered eight of his teeth. So this pain is what somewhat cuts off concentration to be able to lift and perform these godly feats of strength. So in a similar case, the same can be said for Deku, and maybe more so that his body was shoved to something like 112 through 135% with absolutely no bodily pain holding back his concentration that allowed him to perform the feat he did. You could argue that having no pain holding back your mind and focus could allow you to lift even more, and that the feats in the real world suggest that it is actually that way. So you really could, if you wanted to, might even be able to say that this feat was more like 1,000% or more, but definitely nowhere near 1 million. It should also be noted that Deku's kind of a spurt, uh, so he kind of shouts out things to hype himself up, as the author said. Final note, that Deku using 100% with full control later in the show for a brief period does defeat an opponent much stronger than the enemy he fought here today in episode 42, which kind of supports 112 through 135% more, but I won't spoil anything. Hope you guys enjoyed. Look forward to a Prime All Might scale in the future when we see All Might fight that certain someone, wink wink, and uh, till next time.